Hello everybody and welcome back to All The Mod 6 to the sky. In this episode, we get back into mana and artifice. Yes, we need to actually get to tier 3 because we need to, well, craft something that's in this mod that we need for the creative items. So, we need to get to tier 3 to do that. So, I hope you enjoy. Hey, quick thing, uh, we managed to make it to episode 30, so if you would like, there's actually a world download for this world in the description. So, if you want to go play in this world at its current state, well, you can do that by clicking the link down in the description. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so, today we are going to be, uh, well, working on mana and artifice. Because there's a couple of things in this thing we need to get done. I need to progress through tier 2. Uh, in the Oculus we look. So, tier 2. Tier 2. Jeez, I cannot speak. We need to complete this and get into tier 3. Because within tier 3 is how we manage to make this transitory tunnel. It's about time we start working on producing all of the things for the ATM star. So, we can get into all the end tier creative stuff. But a couple of things. As I have made two more bigger reactors... Mainly because, well, we were running out of power. The whole five times ore processing we set up, that was draining every little bit of our power. And, well, we're starting to build back up our power now because we're not using as much as we were before. Mainly because we've actually ran out of sulfur. And if we go into ore processing, sulfur production, as you can see, it's very minimal. So, we need to work on... Uh, more sulfur later on. I have produced a few sulfur seeds. As you can see, I have a couple there, and the essence is growing in a small plot, so we do need to get into bigger areas of farming. And speaking of bigger areas of farming, the area that I want to build it in is out here. This is the void of a compact machine. Um, I'm going to show you how I've done this. It's probably not recommended unless you are able to put down a waystone and teleport back inside. But let's just say, if I was to go into refined storage auto crafting, I did this. Pretty much, you just put a setup like that. Just grab an ender pearl, and as long as you have like a ladder to climb up, if you don't have a jetpack or just a block there. So when you teleport to that block, um, it's supposed to teleport you, um, up like this. And you just step out. And now you're on the roof. And I do not believe you need a jetpack to do that. That's why the ladder, ladder is there to be able to climb up the wall and get onto the roof then. Because you can step on the ladder and then jump on the block. But now we have a way to get outside of the compact machines. And we can set up a gigantic farming of that. Now hopefully that doesn't break anything. But anyway, we're doing Man and Artifice today. So as you can see, we need to do all this stuff. So, um, there was a thing that we had to get to level 15, which I ended up not doing, as you can see. I've been level 14 for a while. But it turns out, if I just do this a bunch of times, uh, apparently only works if you're standing on the ground, uh, my game froze. Okay, so, um, we're so close to getting to level 15. There we go. So, I have no idea if that will complete anything for us. No. Okay, but at least with this today, once we complete 11 out of the 14 tasks, it will ask us to join a faction. And I've done a little bit of reading on the factions. So, in here it says, if you choose a faction, there's three to choose from. And when you choose one, you'll make enemies of the other factions. When you choose a faction, you will make enemies out of the other ones. So, we've got the, the Demons of the Nether which are pretty much fire element things, and if you join them, you get bracelets which give you fire protection. You can use a fire attacks and explosion cauterize, cauterize and whatever. A lot of cool things, and anything marked in the Oculus that requires this uh, faction will be marked with this icon. This is the one I'm thinking of joining. This is the Fairy Courts, or the Fairy Courts. It's pretty much like the little fairies, um, and they give you... Flight, flight. Uh, I don't know if it's like creative flight, but you get like a lighter wings and stuff, but it's, they're mainly trickery. 
So you get like bracelets which make you invisible and when you punch people or enemies they will send them flying and you can use a decoy and heal yourself. So that's a cool one. And then the other one is the Wizards Council or the Ancient Council of the Wizards. These guys focus on defense. Oh yeah, and uh, these guys focus on offense, so they're mainly attacking. These ones are just whatever, like subterfuge and trickery. These guys are defense, so they focus on defense, mana manipulation, so we can get like different things, so we can dispel attacks or absorb more mana better and use better, and we can get shields and transfer mana and stuff. But that doesn't mean we can't use the stuff from the other things. Like, if we were to go with Fey, we can trade for the, the things with these people so if we were to manage to find something some way to be able to trade for the items or the runes or scripts or rituals or whatever it is from the demon guys we can use it but doing that will also make them want to attack you more yeah it says here so it says you cannot craft the spells and artifacts from other factions however you can trade from either by doing the ritual of the iron bell once you hit tier 3, or by simply trading with other wizards in multiplayer. So if I had someone else who was in the demon and I was the fairy, I could trade with them for their rituals or their other things. But it says using their spells and relics will cause them to raid you and sending very powerful assassins after you. These assassins have more powerful abilities than their naturally spawning counterparts. And by naturally spawning counterparts, it means all the mobs that kind of spawn in here, like with the wither, nether, uh, wither skeletons are not on, so like them mushroom people. I believe they're like the Fey guys, maybe? I don't know, but there's actually like, if we go to a Mana and Artifice, we got all these different like, uh, Mark of the Council. So this would be like the Wizards Council, this is the Fey Council, and there was another one, which I'm not actually seeing in here. Oh, here's the Nether one. Okay, so they're the tree. Since I'm going to be the Fey, this is a tree. So I'll be marked with these guys. So... Yeah, that's pretty much with that. So, to get started by upgrading this, um, we need to progress through this. So, we need to cast a Tier 2 cantrip. Now, what is a Tier 2 cantrip? We need to have a look at one. Uh, does it t tell us in here? No. So, I need to probably look through my book and see what the Tier 2 cantrip. I don't know what one is. Constructs, enchantments, mana weaving. Maybe it's on a mana weaving? Cantrips, okay. So, this is an improvised mana weaver wand. Okay. Cantrip list. Uh, the first cantrip you would ignite a block you're looking at with four blocks and reach their timer zero. Second trample will spurt harmful effects after you decay akin to drinking milk. The third cantrip will summon a grimoire and spell book that works like an ender chest. The final three cantrips allow you to put spells into them and cast a cantrip will cast a spell through without any modifiers applied. Okay, how do I cast a cantrip though? That's what I want to know. How did I cast a cantrip before? Wasn't it something in here? Combining patterns. I know I've done one before, but how did I do it? Was it a spell in here that told me? I don't know. Um. Huh. Well, okay, we'll just have to... I'll have to keep thinking about how I've done it before. I know you just used some mana weaving. Maybe it was like a square and a circle or something like that. And that caused fire to appear. But we can work on the rest of this other stuff. So let's work on making this magic broom, apparently. So, Or we can add a modifier to a spell. Actually, let's do that, actually. So um, to add a modifier, we need to make a spell modifier book. Book of Alteration. There we go. So we need two vellum. So I have vellum in here, so that's okay. So two vellum. We're also then going to require... I should probably bookmark these things I'm going to craft. Okay, so Book of Alteration. We're going to need this infused thread. I need infused silk, which is all these things added together. So wool, and I think it was a piece of string. I'll have to double check. String. I, I believe it was these three items. I'll just have to see quickly. Yes, it was. Okay. So, put these away and put these three in this thing over here. I don't know why I put it all the way over here. Oh, yeah, because I wanted to automate this. There is actually a way to automate this weaving altar. But I'll. there's no way I'm getting into that today. This too much. Okay, so to make this then... Does it actually tell me what things I need to craft? It's just a square. So, just make a square. And done. 
Now I need to com combine this with a piece of, uh, what's it called? Vintium. So one piece of Vintium in here, and then I need to combine it with what? A up square with this, okay. So up square, and there we go. I could bookmark them, but I'd have to go through the book and find the recipe in there, and then we can add it, but ah, it's easy to just look it up in your JEI. But anyway, now that we've made this, we need to make the book of alteration now. So this should be everything. So two of these, one of them, a red die, Vintium, oh, not that, two vellum and that, and this requires a couple of things. Okay, can I find this in here? Because I want to bookmark that. There we go, I found it. Okay, so we start with a square. Then we need this one. We're going to need a circle. And then this one. Nope, that's a circle. If you mess up one, you can just like uh, right click to get rid of it on the thing. So up, down, down, cross. There we go. So this is that ritual. And now we need to actually lay out the area. So let's pin this one down instead. And if we were to grab the book and our chalk um we're actually about out of this so i might need to make a new one so we should have enough space right here so we are looking at one there skip two another one oh skip three there we go and then down one um is there a block gap it looks like a block gap there and then one here here Another one, right. Damn, this is actually quite difficult to draw. Nope, not there. It looks like this one's actually at an angle. So maybe here? No. God oh, damn, I, I thought this would be a lot easier to draw. Okay, this might be the right one. I am honestly not sure, but it requires us to take out a spell out of our spell book. Now, I guess I'm going to use fling because this one will alter alterate speed I believe and um, so in here wait this is a completely different picture to this picture wait a minute we'll see if this works I have no idea if it will put that right there and now we need to grab some purified vintium some mana and artifice if this works this will light up. No. So this is not right. I'm going to draw the one that was in JEI, which was pretty like compact and together. So it was pretty much the three of these like that. And then it was just these in the corner, corner, and then just one right there and one right there. This was the picture that was in JEI. So let's see if this one works. Yes, okay, so that picture is not work. Maybe I'm reading it a bit wrong. Maybe it's only two. Okay, I was reading it as a tree. I should have looked at the size. It was a 5x5. Five five. That was not a 5x5. Five five. Um, wait, why is it in the opposite direction? Okay. So, book and go. I don't know if this requires us to mana weave. I doubt it. I don't think it does. Oh, that's a cool shape. Oh, it does. I don't think it's that much, though. Yeah, it's just those two. So this should combine now and should add speed onto it. Correct? Um, Am I missing something? Once a spell is crafted, you're prompt to find item in a We could change the modified values. Oh, I forgot a step. No, I did not just lose my sling spell. God damn it. Looks like we're making fling again. Anyway, I need to check what my control was for a mana and artifice. Okay, so supposedly, if I hold this book, hold the button. Oh, I hold this button. Okay, so in here, I have to choose. Um, I don't know what the default button is, but I have bounded to a little minus button next between equals and zero. 
So I think in here, this is, does it tell you? Usually it tells you what it is, but I think this one here, the timer is speed. This is range. Actually, it might tell you when I hover over it. Yeah, that's range. So this should be speed, correct? That's delay. Uh, maybe this is speed. That's speed. Okay. Uh, okay, so I need to make my fling spell again. So that shouldn't be too difficult. So I want to do self and f leap or fling. There we go. So just get this to right. And then I think I have to combine it in the mana weaving altar with all of the things it requires. Actually, no, I have to do a ritual on the ground. Okay, let me look up the... Actually, it should tell me the ritual once it's done drawing it. Okay, so fling. Like that. So these are all the ingredients I need. Actually, no, it's in the book. It tells me the, the area I need to put it down on. Let's see. So rich sorcery, making vellum leather, crafting spells. Here we go. So this is the, the shape I need to draw. There we are. So put this in the center, but we need to get all these items. So I need a book. Yes, I'm, I'm going to end up going through everything I'm not meant to be doing right now. Uh, that weird flower. So uh, mana and artifacts. This guy, the, uh, the um. We're also then going to require an armor stand. A white glyph and a grey glyph. So, glyph, we need two white and one grey. Okay, and we're going to need two mystic focuses. So, focus. Two of them. Uh, a runesmithing hammer. Okay, we're also going to require two vintium. Okay, that should be everything. So I can put that in the center. Use this purified Vintium to ignite it. Oh, I missed a spot in the corner here. There we go. So now it should prompt us for everything we're going to need. So, as long, I think as long as I have the ingredients in my inventory, it puts it down. Um, okay, that should be everything. So just click it again with this. And now we have to draw it. Damn, I did not want to go through this again. I wanted to do the, the council thing today. Circle. Circle. Triangle. And it's done. Now let's try this again. So ignite this. Put this here. And put this for speed. Right there. Ignite it again. Oh, it actually requires stuff now. Okay, so redstone. Uh, sugar. Maybe that's why it didn't work, because it didn't actually give you all the ingredients. I need a yellow and a white rune. So, glyph. I need a yellow. And white. So, yellow and white. And now we should be able to do it. Same shape as before. Alright, so now I think it asked us for... Oh! Didn't need anything. And we kept the book. Okay, so now we can, I think, tell it what we want. So this is going to be just spell, just fling, and I can't remember what the icon was. I think it was like a little tornado thing. Uh, I think it was like this guy. So there we go. And then we can put this back in our spell book. But you can see now we've got an attribute of speed one. I have no idea what that does. How do I open this book? Uh, open, open by pressing or holding equal. Oh, because I changed that. But um, actually, let me change that back. I thought that was a different uh, thing. So hold control and open. There we go. So it's set to fling. So no idea what it does. But cool. So, have we completed that? We Yes, we have. So, craft a magic broom. So, broom. The magic broom is a hay bale, two vintium, and a stick. Okay, that's easy enough. So, hay. So, two hay bales. Two vintium, I believe it was. And a stick. I think that was the crafting recipe, right? Let me unpin this thing. 
There we go. So, broom. Oh, with one hay bale, two vintium, and a stick. Okay. So, two vintium, hay bale, stick. And now we need to... What was the two things? It was a circle and a fish pointing down to the corner. It's not a fish, but whatever. Circle, and then... That. There we go. So this will craft a magic broom. And I think if we grab ourselves a chest, I remember seeing this. I think if you grab the broom, grab a chest, and we just put a chest right here. Put the broom on top. And I believe anything you throw on the ground automatically gets picked up. Oh wait, I have my magna. No, I didn't. Doesn't this automatically pick up items? Hmm. Um, how does the broom... Oh! Yep, it, that's how it works. Apparently it was just too close to the edge of the chest. So cool, that th thing will just pick up, automatically pick up items. It's pretty much like a vacuum hopper. So, cool. So now we can go on to the next part. So craft a mana crystal. Oh god, okay. So, let's see. At mana and artifice, a mana crystal requires these mana fragments... It's also, the, the actual mana crystal itself is this guy. Where is it? This guy. So, mana crystal. This guy, as you can see, requires a moat of magic. Now, the moats, uh, like I said, we have no crafting recipe, but they actually have a crafting recipe within here. The only thing is actually finding it, but I think it's actually under the actual sorcery. No, it's under rituals. So, we should be able to find moats in here somewhere, right? Uh, maybe not. Uh, Wandering Wizard, Wizard, Wizard Council. Oh, Forgotten Lore. A Ritual Colescence, uh, no, not that one. Uh, I actually don't know what it's called. Forgotten Lore, Looting, flat ri Flatland Rituals, or Arcane. Ritual of the Fae Court, we'll have to do that now soon. Moats, there they are. Here we go. So, there is a multiple... We need to make moat of magic. So, Ritual of Forgotten Lore. So, here we go. We need to pin this. So, we need to draw out that shape. Oh, God. Here we go. So, let me see if I can draw this. So, we'll start with that here. There, there, there. And then, in the corner here... Actually, it doesn't go that high. It just goes to there. Okay. And then, the same thing... Actually, no, this is not the right shape. So, top one is there, down. Oh, this is correct. Because then you've got this one here. Which is meant to line up with that one. No, 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 no. I'm. Wait, am I thinking of this right? No, I have not drawn the full shape. This actually comes down here, then, like this as well. This is the shape I'm looking at. There we go. So, this actually does go like this. And then the same thing goes here. Like this. There we go. And then the next one will go... Right here. There we go. That's the shape. Uh, okay, so now we need to grab two books. So, book. I think I also need to surround this thing with bookshelves then as well. I think that's something else I remember seeing. So... I've plenty of books, so I need four books. I'm going to need lecterns. Two of them. I already have one, so I'll just grab two. We're going to need some ink. Thank God for our squids. So, ink. I need two inks. I'm going to need some feathers now. So, I think four feathers. Okay. And now I just have to surround this thing in bookshelves. I think it requires like ten. Because I think that's what that thing was inside uh, here. So, if we go back out of here and go to uh, Rituals and go to the Forgotten Lore, you can see uh, it says it has to be an outline of books, so 10. Okay, so how many books did I put here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I'll just put uh, 3 here. What the fuck? Oh god, I thought there was something coming after me. The fucking broomstick. Does it actually just, like, chase after anything that's on the ground? It does. Oh my god, that thing actually scared me. 
Okay, so, purified Ventium. What the hell? That's not the right thing. Do I need something different? Hang on, does the book actually require us to use a different source to light this? I'm an idiot, I missed two spots. Apparently I missed this one and this one. Um, so no wonder it wasn't going to work because I didn't have the actual ritual drawn out in the ground properly. Go me! Okay, but now we have everything down and I think... I, do I have to put anything in the middle? No, I think I just click it now and it should work. Do I need to mana weave this? Oh god, I don't know. Let me unpin this, I don't need it now. Damn, look at all the little lights. Oh, this is so cool. Do I need to mana weave? Oh, I do. Okay, so square. Uh, upside down triangle. Another square. And a circle. And a normal triangle. Is that everything? Nope, another upside down triangle. And there. So here's our moat of magic. Cool. Okay, I'm putting all this away. Uh, hold on to my spell book. Okay, so now we've got ourselves a moat of magic. So to use this moat of magic to make this mana crystal now, we need to make eight of these mana fragments. Which come from purified ventium dust and shimmerite gems. As you can see, I actually have no shimmerite. And shimmerite, I think, is a byproduct of breaking ore. Not sure which particular ore, but I think it comes very much from emerald. Because if I was to like set up a nice wall of emerald ore right here, I don't know if this works. Oh yeah, it did. Okay, so we actually got a fair bit of shimmer right there. So yeah, I think you could just get this as a byproduct from breaking like precious mineral ore, uh, like diamond ore. Oh, of course. Uh, let me sleep over here. Okay, I think we're about to start running out of time, so. Um, maybe we won't be able to make our choose our council today, but we'll definitely choose it now next episode. So let's finish just making this crystal fragment and things, and we'll call it there. So, in here, we, I think it was Vintium it needed? No, Purified Vintium, and I have that. So, I need eight of those things, is it? Eight of them. Okay, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One of those, and... It requires... Okay, I need to find this in the book and pin it. Here we go. Eventually found it. Okay, so circle. Diamond. Square. And another diamond. That's a circle. Um, and a... That's a circle. That, I'll just restart. Circle. Diamond, square, diamond. There we go. And I need to do this eight more times, or seven more times. And one other thing I just figured out is how to do the cantrips. There we go. So I need a circle, upside down triangle, regular triangle. So let's try this again. So circle, uh, upside down triangle, I think it was. Uh, what the hell? Why want to draw that circle upside down triangle? Okay, it, it's not working, but that's how you cast a cantrip. He'll control and it'll open this menu. Unless, oh, maybe I can tell it to do something different. Let's try this actually. Circle, uh, diamond, that was a square, circle, diamond, that's a circle, that's a squ well, whatever. Right, let me do this uh, eight more times. Okay, last one is crafted. Now, I need to put all of these on this altar. There we go, and our moat, and now I need to find this one in here. 
Great. Let me unpin this. And I believe it was back under moat. So if we were to go back to uh, sorcery. Actually, no. Manus uh, weaving. And we want to go to... Actually, no. It's under artifacts. Mana crystal. Here we go. So pin this. So we need a good few shapes here. So we're going to need a circle. A diamond, which is giving me so much trouble trying to draw. Not a circle! There we go. I have to like draw it massively so it recognizes the shape. Square. Diamond. That, how does it not recognize the shape? Diamond. Circle. Square. There we go. Damn. That took absolutely forever to figure out. And here we go, Mana Crystal. Now, I believe this gives us, yep, Mana Regen 5. So this actually allows us our, our man to, Mana to Regen really fast. So, I don't think we have time to do anything else. So that's pretty much it. So, I'm going to end it there. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. I also stream over on Twitch. So if you want to go check that out, the link is down in the description. Also... There's also a download link for the world in the description. So if you want to go download this world at the current point it is, you can do that by clicking the link in the description. So, hope to see you on the next episode, and without further ado, goodbye.